Hey viewers, my name's Kara. I'm your host for Tuesdays on The Pagan Perspective, and this week we are talking about animal remains and animal past lives. The first question, couple of questions, comes from X Moonseeker X, who says, What are your thoughts on using animal remains in pagan-themed art as well as ritual tools? What are your thoughts on working with the spirit or essence of what remains after an animal's death? Things to consider. Respect or lack thereof of the deceased animals, where they get the remains from, roadkill, people who hunt anyway but don't use the bones, hunting yourself, etc. Not hunting yourself, but personally, yourself, doing the hunting. And, of course, laws protecting and or restricting collection and ownership of certain animals in certain countries and between their states. I am not a fan of hunting for purely sport. That has always been my position. But I've pretty much always been okay with, and I am okay with, someone either hunts themselves or uses the parts of someone who hunts as long as all the parts of the animals are being used. If you're hunting for sport and then leaving the animal there, I'm not so okay with that. Or if you're hunting for sport and then you just want to stuff the animal, I'm not so okay with that. But if you are hunting an animal to eat the meat and use the skin and use the bones and whatever else, okay. And again, that does have to be within the laws for me because obviously if you're just gonna keep hunting huge numbers of a certain animal so that you can use all the parts, like yay, you're using all the parts, but now where has that population of animals gone? So I definitely am in favor of keeping the population at a stable, keeping it stable, I guess. I'm in favor of keeping the population at a appropriate number and not either letting them overpopulate, which can be bad for the entire ecosystem, or also not, you know, making them die out too quickly when they shouldn't. And then definitely if you're hunting animals that are being protected and shouldn't be hunted, shame on you, I'm not okay with that. So yes, within the laws, and if you are using as many parts of the animal as possible, or if you don't personally, but if you sell those things maybe, or give them to people who will use them, I'm okay with that, as long as we're remaining within the law and remaining good for the environment, and, you know, humanely would be nice too. I do think that if I were to get animal remains from someone, I would prefer it to be from someone who killed the animal or obtained the parts with respect and things like that, definitely. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna choose to get it from someone who shot it for no reason. I mean, I might still because then that's sort of, you know, taking that from me and then using those parts with respect would kind of get the animal back some of the respect that it lost in its being killed without respect. But it definitely would be nicer if we could, you know, share materials from people who also respect what you're going to do with it and maybe have fashioned these tools for that purpose and things like that. So as an example of animal parts that I use, I've used processed leather strips and things like that in crafts, which, you know, of course, at some point came from an animal. I use feathers pretty often, and we get peacock feathers and turkey feathers and things like that from people nearby in the area that actually have those animals and collect their fallen feathers. So feathers are a big okay thing for me because they just fall off, and things like quills would be similar in that way, that it's something that the animal gets rid of anyway, and then you're just making more use of it. I'm definitely okay with that. Of course, I would prefer never to have to kill an animal if we didn't have to, but, you know, I use sinew, or I used to use sinew for dream catchers, which is, like, guts made into strings, and it was always kind of gross when I did it, and I didn't really like it, but it's just another natural part, I suppose, and again, as long as it wasn't, you know, obtained brutally and heinously, I'm pretty okay with it. I would never personally kill an animal. I just can't. I just cannot do that. If it were someone else who did it and did it with respect and was using all the parts, what I would get parts from them. Maybe, you know, if I needed, you know, give me give me some of those feathers or give me a bit of that fur or whatever. And this brings me on to the other part about working with the essence or spirit of an animal. I definitely think especially the skins and the furs of animals are really evocative of that sort of thing because plenty of cultures and groups and things like that people will wear the skins and furs of an animal and kind of take on that animal's characteristics. And I definitely think that if you have a big part of an animal that is very much connecting you to their spirit, and I've never done any working with that personally, but I do think that that is a very good way to do so. As for pagan-themed 
art, I don't know, I would consider tools that we make also a kind of art, so I don't know what you mean by art unless you actually just mean like something that you hang up on the wall, in which case I would say, why did you have to kill an animal and go through all of that just to hang it up on your wall? If you're using it and something like, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's better if you're using it than if it's just sitting there, but if it's being used that way, like to create the, the spirit of your space and things like that, I suppose I could see that too. Um, so let's go on to the next question, which is from Obsessed509, 509, which is, what is your opinion on past animal lives? Do you believe that they can influence you in your current life? And I asked this person to clarify which they meant, because I'm not sure, and I don't think we got an answer from them, so I'm going to kind of talk about both. I wasn't sure if they meant, what is our opinion on the past lives of animals, or if they meant our past lives as animals. If it's the past lives of animals, um, I don't know if those animals have any way of knowing what they, who they were in their past lives, I suppose it could influence us. Like if my familiar, Mystery, who passed away a year or so ago, if she had knowledge of her previous lives and her mission and things like that, I do think it would definitely have influenced my relationship with her. If she had no knowledge of that, I can't say that I really think it would have done much difference because she wouldn't know. So it would be just like us not knowing our past lives. It might not affect us or it may intrinsically and we just don't know. Or if we're talking about our past lives as animals, I definitely think that that would influence your current life, especially if you knew about it, like I said. Um, I think that my past lives affect me even though I don't know anything about them, but I do believe that certain of my interests, certain of my beliefs and feelings, I do think that was prob- that could have been affected by my past lives and whoever I was and whatever I did or past or future or whatever lives, you know, because time it's in loops and stuff and that's a whole different concept completely, you know, like, were all of my past lives, like the lives that I have experienced before this life, were they all chronologically before this life? Or could some of them be in the future and already happened because we're just jumping everywhere? Who knows? I don't know. I'm not really huge on that, but it's just some things that I like to think about. I don't know what my past lives were, but I think if I did, they would greatly influence my life now because I would be conscious of it and I would be thinking about it, trying to make connections. But even though I don't know, I do think that it's possible that they affect my life. So if I were an animal in a past life, I think that could affect my current life. But if you're talking about the past lives of animals, I don't know because I'm not currently an animal. So again, I'm not sure which one you were talking about there, but that's my answer for both. So uh, that's my video for the week, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you very much for watching, and blessed be.